we are hunting at the prestigious Donker Kloof in the southwestern parts of the Free State in South Africa. We're up at four this morning and uh, we're going to head out around about five o'clock um, and then we're going to an area where we saw some fellow deer yesterday but only use we're going to walk over those hills into a basin there and then following a stream school this morning it's about well, zero minus one minus two degrees we are here at donker club safaris and uh, we arrived yesterday morning and we had a uh, 
fantastic game drive the afternoon. We spotted a lot of game. Um, we just had a look around and you know planned our hunt this morning. So we're starting off this morning. We got up early. We were up about four o'clock, and um, it's now what about seven o'clock. It's really it's cold. It's just reaching sub-zero now, um, and there's a little slight wind that's blowing from uh, from the south. It seems. Um, so it's chilly and we're going to walk into a direction uh, with the sun you know, against the wind, uh, upwind. Uh, we're walking towards a basin and there's a little kloof as well with a stream. We're looking for fellow deer this morning but uh, also on the menu uh, is a wildebeest for Michelle and the waterbuck bull also. Looking for water, waterbuck bull as well and our guide this morning is Etienne. So, I think we'll get a uh, go to walk and then we'll see what we get in the field. So three earlier.
realizing you know uh, this kind of hunting if you're doing it this stealthy it uh, installs a sense of peace in you um, especially when you're hunting picturesque areas like this beautiful we had a water buck pool and also a kudu pool so hopefully we'll find a big stack Spotted two uh, water bug pools down there in the, in the basin. So we want to go down the cliff that side, down the valley.
I've just passed on a, uh, a shootable water bubble. Uh, actually, this morning as well, there's another one also I've passed on. But uh, hopefully, I don't regret it in a couple of days. This is going to move through this kloof and then down the valley. And then we're going to call this morning and try this afternoon again in a different area. Now we must start to look around for the buffaloes in these bushes, but sometimes they stay here and I see the traps of the buffaloes. So maybe we can bump into them. We've walked since uh, 7 o'clock this morning, it's almost 11, so we're heading back to the next big brunch and then we're going to move into a different...
Cameraman got injured. Something bombed that lake. See, I've been so hard, lad. He was stalking but running, and um, my leg hit a big rock. But it's okay because I kept on running, <laughs> trying to forget about it. Yeah, see, she got left behind a little bit. We're turning back. We had a good stock on the wildebeest. It was four golden bulls, but uh, they're good bulls. Uh, all shooters, I guess. Uh, the one particular one was, was a little bit bigger than the others. Um, but uh, we passed on them. We've got another three days left, and we're just gonna glass through a few more bulls before we decide on one.
We are hunting here at Donker Club Safaris uh, on their beautiful property and um, we had a fantastic day today walking and stalking in these mountains. This morning we were early in the field, it was really cold. We were looking for a fellow deer um, and uh, we, uh, we bumped into several fellow deer and also some, some nice rams but we couldn't uh, get a shot on one of them. Um, and we've passed on two waterbuck bulls this morning that were suitable bulls. We continued on looking for other wildebeest and then we spotted these, uh, these waterbuck bulls. There were three of them. So uh, we ended this day with a fantastic trophy. You know, we had a, a wonderful, memorable day in the, in the felt here. Um, so uh, it's been such a pleasure hunting here at Dunkel Cliff Safaris. Uh, Etienne guided us today and Michelle did most of the cam camera work. Uh, thank you, Etienne, for guiding us today. This is a beautiful trophy bull. Yes, yeah, beautiful. So. Thank you, Etienne. Yaki is going to prepare the fillet of the water buck for us tonight and then he's going to braai it for us. So uh, we just love water buck, especially the fillet. Thank you Nico. So what we're going to do is, we shot an exceptional bull. I'm just going to press a couple of holes into it and then I'm going to drip it with a little bit of Greek salad sauce. We don't want to spoil it too much with a lot of spices and stuff. That should do it. We're gonna use regular Greek salad sauce. Uh, hang on, let me just put a little bit of salt and pepper on it first. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, that's way too much. I'm gonna wipe that off. Just massage it slightly into it. Oh, that should actually do it. I'm just going to put a little bit of Greek salad sauce onto it. Just drizzle it a little bit over it. Massage it slightly into the fillet. As well as on the other side. And then we're just going to put some multiple safari spice onto it. Also massage it. Just give it a little bit safari spice. Just gonna massage it slightly into it. And then we're just gonna let it marinate. Let it just rest for like an half an hour or so. We're gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. onto our roster we've got a golden crusty beautiful on both sides what about for that look at that Perfect and choose. Thank you. 
Ja, das war ein Zaun. 